mode is the best mode. What's popping people? It's Dante walking around Philly. JFK Boulevard. Who killed Kennedy? And today I'm filming with the GoPro Mini 1080p 30fps exported to 720p for that crispy HD small file size quality. And yeah, look, it's uh it's time, right? The time is now. But Dante exists outside the passage of time, right? I exist outside the passage of time, right? No wristwatch. Who's looking at the clock? They got this big uh, display though. There's a display up on the top of that tower and they display the time. If you gotta check the clock and you're in Philly, just look at uh, City Hall. Just look at the tower. Just, uh, yeah, that's how you can tell the time. Um, what does this mean, right? What does it mean to exist outside the passage of time? I find that through the... Wow! Zipping and moving. I think he wanted to splash me on purpose. That guy is driving way too fast. Um, so yeah, what does this mean? What does it mean to exist outside the passage of time? Oh, look at this thing. It's like one of those medieval weapons. There goes the train. I believe that through the movement of your body and walking more, not only does it make you happy, it makes you feel more, it makes you uh, become more, it makes you think and actually uh, come up with anything creative or see things, explore. But it also, I believe, allows you to exist in this state of bliss where the only thing that matters is the now, right? The moment is now. And, you know, there's no uh, past or future on my mind when I'm walking through the passage of time. And through creating pictures and making art, I find this to be the most joyous thing that we can do on this planet is to just make cool shit, right? But in order to make cool shit, I think that we have to break the rules, right? To throw away the rules. There's no rule book, there's no guidelines, there's no uh, one way or the highway when it comes to street photography, right? This is our own game that we make up to play. Look at this beautiful contrast, right? High contrast black and white on the uh, Ricoh GR3, GR3X. Yeah, this is the solution. P mode, simplify everything. Don't make it too hard for yourself, right? Taking pictures is easy, right? Street photography is easy. All you really have to do is follow your intuition. If there's anything that uh, grabs your interest, just raise the camera, press the shutter, right? This is a simple uh, sort of ethos, right? To just react with your gut, to follow your gut, I think is the goal. And to play more and to see more, ultimately. And what this superpower, right? I believe street photography is a superpower. It allows you to find beauty in the mundane but this is really moody and beautiful where everything and anything is photographable and every moment can become the greatest moment of your life where we really got to appreciate the now you know i think that's a critical aspect of this thing and i think that photography it actually allows you to sort of appreciate life more generally um the little things right the fog right Look at the beautiful fog. This is such a beautiful morning. And um, yeah, to, appreci to appreciate the mundane, to uplift the mundane. Yeah, that seems to be the name of the game. And uh, yeah. Wow. I'm kind of like, when you say wow, that's when you know you're looking at something beautiful. I think uh, that's a good uh, heuristic. Like if something makes you just say, wow, it's beautiful. Um, isn't life beautiful, right? I think that to uh, really cherish these simple things, whether it's the change of weather, the feeling of the you know, fresh air, having clean ox oxygen is a luxury, especially in urban cities, right? Thinking of... Uh, these beautiful trees and the parks that we have, right? The falling of leaves, the changes, the changes of seasons. These uh, small things are what make life so great. And I think that we can make the world great again. 
Um, how do we make the world great again? We can change ourselves. We can uplift our voice. We can speak our truth and we can spread more joy, perhaps through spreading joy. Um, we can change the world. Look at this amazing morning. I love this. Uh, I think that my new thing is to just go straight to the river. In Philly, I don't want to go right into the chaos, right? It's very chaotic when you start walking around, everyone's bustling and going to work, whatever. Walking around, just rushing. It's good for street, right? You can make pictures. But for me, I like to think in the morning. I like to go for a a walk like a zen sort of meditative walk where i go away i go to the river and i have uh, more space to myself and i can think more look at the crane moving that's cool they're really building fast over here aren't they i've been watching them for the past year new condos who knows what this is going to be actually i don't know um but yeah to uh maybe treat uh blogging as like a public uh public meditations right to sort of uh think of like marcus aurelius right meditations he just like jotted down notes for himself i think that in order to um in order to generate new thoughts in order to expand the mind open the mind we actually must write we must speak we must uh put things down on paper or whatever. Like, I, I kind of like treating the uh, blog as such. Where, yeah, just say what you feel, right? Speak, speak your shit. And um, what this does is it allows you each day to maybe expand your opinions where, you know, you don't want to be complacent. You don't want to be uh, stuck to like one mode of thinking, no group think, right? We must be free thinkers, open-minded as much as possible. And this is why I believe travel is incredible because traveling the world, it allows you to open your mind to new ways of living. It allows you to open your mind to other cultures and people. And it really does expand the horizon quite literally, right? When you look out at the horizon of an ocean, isn't that an inspiring feeling, right? There's something about looking out at the distance or even being in a airplane and looking out the window above the clouds you know you feel like you can touch the sky i love being outside i think being outside is the ultimate luxury man they gotta do something about this sort of office work look at how dreary and dreadful this looks inside the fluorescent lights the uh sort of uh place where souls go to die um what else um yeah so To be complacent is not an option, right? We must move and expand and sort of uh, evolve, I think, is a good way to think about it, right? Where evolution is the goal. I was thinking actually this morning about um, this like notion of legacy, right? I think um, maybe we think about legacy as photographers. Oh, I want my legacy to be left behind. I want my pictures to live on and outlive me. And you know, this is a thought that I've had for the past couple of months thinking about it as like an empowering thing but now today i don't know i woke up i'm like fuck legacy like honestly i'd rather just be forgotten right we're we the new kings of the underground baby like i don't want to have a uh, my legacy be this like serious thing it's like i just want to make dope shit <laughs> while i'm here don't really care if you uh i don't know maybe it's yeah i don't know I don't know. Dante of Philadelphia doesn't exist. Wow, beautiful morning. Beautiful morning, sunshine, adventure, baby. Beautiful morning. I just want to feel liberated. I, I, I. Do you want to feel liberated? Do you want to feel liberated? Just stop giving up. Stop giving a flippin' fluck. Be you, baby. Individualism? Identity? 
What do you identify as? If someone asks you what you identify as, just uh, look look back at them and just say, how, how, how. The tech Spartan warrior SWAT militant aesthetic. Hello. Can you see me in the reflection? No. Let's walk. Let's walk and talk along the river. This is my muse. I love walking here. Um. Wow. Just take this moment in. What is the antidote to this chaotic world that we live in? To love yourself, right? Self-love. Like, I like waking up in the morning thinking to myself, I can do anything. Right? You can do anything. The only thing that's holding us back, I believe, is the fear itself, right? To not be afraid is really critical in this modern world, right? Um, we can't have any fear. Um, some of the like weird things that I've recognized uh, over the past year is like the fear of the sun. Like a lot of people are afraid of the going out and outside. I think it was like after the pandemic, really. I mean, it seemed like being stuck indoors was like a really bad thing for the collective of humanity, where we became almost like afraid of the sun. It seems. Um, I don't use sunblock. I don't really uh, fear the sun at all. If anything, like embracing the sun this past year has brought me to this point of like absolute bliss where i feel like the the sun's a supercharger and if there is no sun right it's early in the morning who knows if it'll be a cloudy day or if the sun will be really striking if it is that's great it's a blessing and it's a beautiful day no matter but there is something to be said about the sunlight like it really does charge your body gives you energy right like when your skin becomes tanned um there there must be something about the like physiological effect i don't really know but it's uh there's something there to say the least because i've never felt better in my life than this past year of like just embracing sunlight more i mean i'm always out and about making pictures and things but even just this past year i've started to walk without a shirt on which has been a very liberating feeling. I just want to feel liberated. Uh, how to feel liberated? Yeah, walk without a shirt. Walking without a shirt on? Yeah, it's a nice feeling. Um, obviously not in the winter. Although in the beginning of the autumn, I was... Uh, yeah, I was in the sun and I would be... You know, I would feel warm even in the sun with my shirt off during the cold days like if the sun came out right now and it's like 50 it's not it's gonna be like 50 it's not even that cold um yeah i'd feel fine in the sun with my shirt off so i don't know there's just something about the sun there's something about meat meat is power meat is wealth meat is capital uh the future of currency is flesh <laughs> flesh is the future i think that the more that we embrace technology, like from, for instance, just thinking of me working from home, right? Pandemic, working from home, uh, being in Zoom calls, right? This kind of shit is so unnatural, so unhealthy. You're kind of just tied down to the call. Actually, when I worked from home, you were kind of forced to be in a Zoom call and it felt like slavery. Like, a, like I know that we the new slaves. Basically, you had to stay in the Zoom and like, I don't know, it, 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 like, like, keep your webcam on. I mean, so there were some points where you could turn it off and stuff, but like, for the most part, you were like locked into your chair from like the moment you wake up to the end of uh, the day. And man, that is just not a way, to, that's just no way to live. That's no way to be. Just completely stagnant for an entire day. That's, see, that's when you, do, you no longer exist outside the, pas uh, the passage of time. You are completely sucked in 
to time itself where the days feel like a bore, a dread, right? And, and what does boredom lead to? Depression. Um, so there was definitely something up with the way that we were living those past uh, years that was not natural. And now I'm just like, we outside, you know? Like I'm just gonna stay outdoors all day. I think that being outdoors is the greatest you know, the smallest thing in life that is just like so uplifting just to like be like to stay outdoors for the maximum amount of time and to be in a state of movement. Yeah, this is where uh, this is where I come to thrive. To be inside is where souls go to die. Um, seems like it rained all day yesterday, didn't it? I was out in the morning. I got to walk around for a few hours and then it started to rain went inside a bit earlier yesterday but yeah i managed to walk around a lot outside and if it does rain um in philly i actually think it's beautiful like just to observe these small details and like the reflections the textures yeah all this sort of stuff becomes Just like this, there's just like this infinite potential, I think, with photography, where you're never done, right? Like, there's always another picture to make. Like, it's always on to the next one. Flesh is the future. Why do I say that flesh is the future? Why did I say that? Because after the pandemic and after living and working at home and being indoors, it's so much better to communicate in the flesh, right? To have a conversation in person, to not be communicating via text, phone call, email, Zoom, all this stuff is bad. The only thing that iPhone is good for is maybe the FaceTime app so that you can connect with family across the states if you really want to communicate. But maybe the new modern day luxury is to just be disconnected and the new way of living in the future will be a subtraction of the technology. Thinking of like the virtual reality stuff like Meta, right, Facebook, um, yeah, I tried the oculus. I tried the virtual reality stuff. It is really bad Like nobody's gonna want to suck into this headset and I, I don't know. I was thinking about that because it's really um, It's really jarring. It's not good. It's unhealthy if they were to make it so you could just put some like glasses on or something and it was an augmented reality experience I think then it will be something that's adopted by the masses. But as long as they're making the VR a sort of a solution for the future of communication, yeah, it's or, and just like production, whatever, it's not gonna be good. Um, I think that the artificial intelligence, right, the ChatGPT is much more interesting. Using the voice dictation on the iPad, iPhone, yeah, just gathering knowledge. That's what I'm starting to realize is it's knowledge, right? That's what's so empowering, it's the knowledge. Because um, in the past, going through Google, you know, and having all these advertisements pop up and things to buy and having to sift through a thousand different sources, it's an issue. But now what's going on with ChatGPT is it sifts through all the information for you. It spits back bullet points in a sort of concise and digestible way where, yeah, it feels as though anyone can learn anything and anything is possible, right? So considering the knowledge at your fingertips as the most empowering thing, ChatGPT seems to be the future.